From homesickness to general longing for the past, nostalgia is seen today as this bittersweet feeling, so personal to each of us. Today I will explore the effects of nostalgia and how we, as citizens of the world, can use them for our benefit. So these past days I've been thinking about the emotional state and the concept of nostalgia. And what makes life feel meaningful? Isn't it our experiences, the people we meet, the places we see? And when something negative happens or we simply feel down, there is one thing that can help restore our sense of importance and well-being. And this is nostalgia. This emotional state that I'm sure each and every one of us has experienced in one way or another, especially being a digital nomad, an expat, traveling so much and living in different countries. This feeling, it's, uh, it's stronger than, than in regular people that don't live their home state or city. The concept of nostalgia, it's actually very old. It was noticed in the late 17th century by a man named uh, Johannes Hofer. He noticed this state in Swiss mercenaries. They were very depressed and they were not able to, to cope with this new environment, with this new country that they were living in. And this is how the concept emerged, pretty much as, as a disorder, as something that is not, um, not normal, not ordinary. It can sneak upon you at any time without even thinking about a particular event. And it can be dangerous if you go down the slope of the past and get stuck there. But if managed properly and sampled lightly, it can add more to the sweetness than the bitterness to your life. Today it's not related only to, to homesickness. And I was thinking how, how this affects us as expats. I'm actually looking at the positive aspects of this emotional state and how it can help us when we arrive in a new country. I'm originally from Bulgaria and I lived in the States for 20 years. So I pretty much spend an equal amount of time in both countries. And there is a moment where, where you start feeling a foreigner in each of these countries. And it's not so much about the country that you originate from. That's one of the spots that brings me back to America, having a good burger here at Fitz. And why it is helpful when you live in a new country? Of course, it has to be balanced. You can't be just in a nostalgic state the whole time because it can lead to depression and anxiety. But if it's a balanced moment where you can even induce nostalgia or even if you just fall into it without much thinking about it, it is something that can help you cope with a new environment. There are many different triggers that are inducing this feeling. And it could be a certain smell of perfume or, or dessert or, or coffee even, or a certain spice, it doesn't matter. And it brings us to, to our childhood or reminding us of our grandmother cooking in the kitchen. And it doesn't matter how, how it emerges, but this feeling, this emotional state it's very much, very much connected to our self-esteem, what we think of ourselves as human beings, how we're placing ourselves in the world. I want to drown inside this. I, I, I want to drown inside this. Go down and I, like, I, I, Captain. I, 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 I never had a vibe that's vibrant. They were all so shiny with their three eye vision. Take this moment, I'm going to die inside it. I am pariah, I am Mariah. When we go back and remember romantic relationships or family, these memories usually are filled with social connectedness and the feeling of being loved, optimistic and confident. In his examinations, Clay Rotlich showed that through nostalgia, people relate their past experiences to their present lives in order to bring a greater meaning to their life. Nostalgia increases feelings of social connectedness to others, he says. Estoy tan enamorado de la 
manera tomasa que cuando se va de casa alguien dice me pongo as expats or just travelers, we often need the support we don't have in a foreign country. And nostalgia can be one psychological tool that can help us by bringing the past as a reminder that we are not alone. You feel connected because you're, you're bringing yourself back into a situation where you felt better, where you, you, were, you smiled more, you were um, just more present. and. Also, I don't know if it ever happened to any of you, maybe you can uh, comment below. Call it a future nostalgia, where there was a moment of pure happiness and joy. And I knew that this situation, this moment, will be something in the future that I will remember and I will come back to with nostalgic feeling. It is very strange because it is not past, it's present. How can you experience nostalgia in a present moment, thinking what it will become in the future, remembering the past? I read something that really resonated with me, that nostalgia is not related to a particular memory or an event. It is actually an emotional state. It's tied to an emotional state that we place in the past into a certain situation. And I find this uh, very much to be true because uh, if we try to find the difference between a simple memory and nostalgia, we'll see that it is much more charged state of mind. It can actually help with creativity and motivation and just it gives you a structure about what you experienced as a person. I found an interesting study from China exploring nostalgia memory based on social media data. A complete homesickness memory can be constructed through the mining and analysis of three components of nostalgia, person, place, and time. Pray for a low tide. The internet-based social media have broken through the space-time limitations of memory. This data mining is so powerful that we can only imagine what can happen next with the ownership of memories.